hello my name is Hannah and today we are building a pirate ship in The Sims 4. So this isn't like an actual pirate ship but you could live in it if you wanted to if you like remove the like museum aspect of it because I made it into a museum because I felt like Sulani is the perfect world for a pirate ship because you know beach world and you know yeah so <laughs> I use these set pieces from Get Famous because I was inspired by them I found them while I'm probably building something else or just going through the catalog and I found these and I was like that looks really cool and so I took those and I made a pirate ship out of them originally I was going for like a like a shipwreck but I don't think that makes it into like this recording that's why it's called pirate shipwreck so I actually it's on my gallery I did make a shipwreck like a while ago like several months ago and so it's probably either still named that from that, or I named it Pirate Shipwreck now. I don't remember. It's been a bit since I built this. So here you can see me moving this into the water because it is a pirate ship, so I felt like it looked cool if you put the museum in the middle of the water. Well, middle of the water is also is, is a strong word, but it's like in the water, so you can walk through like on like a like a boardwalk kind of like thing out to the museum and then you get into the museum and it's like fully decorated kind of like what I imagine a pirate ship on the inside would look like. I'm basing this off of um, movies I've watched in the past but I don't watch a lot of pirate movies so I've watched like Peter Pan and that's about it. <laughs> that's all I know about you know uh pirate ships so this is really just like my creative take on what a pirate ship might look like <laughs> so I made it all wood which you can see and then there's just like a chimney that I sized up for like a smokestack I think that's what those are called I don't really remember and and I put that up on the top floor because so, it looked cool and it also like to put something in that space where there wasn't the room Oh, and those windows right there, they're like half open, half closed with a stick from Island Living, are meant to be like like the holes that you'd shoot cannonballs out of. Because I, you know, I feel like that's a, like a stereotypical pirate thing, but it doesn't really look like that. But I was just inspired by that and put those there. And then I put some windows. I don't know if pirate ships have windows, but I felt like it needed windows so it wasn't so dark and like cramped looking inside because you need something other than just wood so the windows helped break it in or break it out like you know, break it up words um and so it was more you know not so scary looking on the inside when you were you know coming to visit the museum and here you can see that I changed it to a museum lot because I didn't know if I wanted it to be an actual pirate ship or not when I was building the outside I just was like building it and I there's all okay so then you can see that the second floor that those two rooms off to the side are gonna be bathrooms but those are like the updated bathrooms for the guests to use there is a bathroom that's like like historic I don't think pirates would use the bathroom on the ship that's probably weird to say but like I built one that was like old looking but I definitely don't think it's realistic at all but I thought it looked cool and it filled up the space downstairs next to the stairs between that and the like the captain's bedroom so and then you you take the stairs to get to the second floor and then you take a ladder to get to the office which I I I like figured you wouldn't want to have the guests go up there to like the office so I just like blocked it off I feel like that's kind of weird now that I've seen it again but it you know it's what it it's what happened but and then I also put the chimney like all the way down the ship I don't know it's just to break up the ship more and I put the entire like triangle bit of this ship in the basement as like where the crewmates would sleep so there's just a bunch of single beds that are brown in that room and I use the crates that are like base game because I don't ever use them I don't know what they're for but they're apparently nightstands so I put them in here because I thought they would look good and then just the entire thing's wood and then I put like the cats and dogs like woven rug I definitely think it'd be like a lot grosser in this if it was an actual fire ship but it's a museum they want it to look good so they get guests but then here I put like a like kitchen kind of thing it's mostly just just like where you would cook 
the food or like keep the food more likely. I definitely don't know what you do in pirate ships. <laughs> I have no experience with that at all. I don't think a lot of people do. And I put like a sitting area over here. Definitely don't think that's also realistic, but you know, it's cool looking. So I, and then like everything in the entire thing is like wood. Cause I'm like, you know, pirates are like a, like a older thing. They, there's definitely pirates now. I like in history, we were talking about that the other day, but like there's pirates. And, but, like, this is, like, a historic pirate ship. Like, they, they got this out of the ocean. Just, like, in the middle of Tulani, they just, you know, pulled up a pirate ship <laughs> that they apparently didn't notice because the water is apparently deep in some places. But, <laughs> yeah, I just put, like, stuff everywhere. And so, and then I blocked it off with these, like, like red and, like, s like silver, like, fences that look like they fit in a museum. I think that's probably their purpose. But yeah, here's the bathroom. That I made it like more historic looking in like air quotes. But definitely, I don't know. It, it has like a shower tub combo thing from Strangerville in it. I don't know when I put that in. I don't, I didn't see it when I did it right then. But yeah, so that's the bathroom. And then it has doors now, but I put windows in it. Cause like you don't want the guests going in there and like not being good. So I put windows into it, which I've, in you know, I've seen in a couple museums that they, like, just window off rooms when you're, like, in, like, house, like, the, like historic things that they've made into museums. So I, I did that. I don't know. <laughs> but you can't actually go into the bathroom, but you can see it. So, yeah, here's the, like, shower tub combo that looks all run down from Strangerville. And I just put some mirrors above the the sinks. There's two sinks, which is kind of obnoxious, but, you know, it's okay. Yeah, this is the, um, captain's, like, what I imagine to be the captain's, like, bedrooms are where they would sleep, because, like, it's fancy, and then, like, they don't want to be with, like, the crewmates, I would imagine. I really don't know again, but this is really fancy, and I have a lot, I had a hard time putting the fence in here, because I was like, I don't know where the fence is going to go. Like, because, like, the guests would surely, like, reach over the fence and, like, touch the bed. And, like, that's, like, what you want to minimize is them touching the, like, artifacts. But, like, it's The Sims, so it doesn't even be entirely realistic. Yeah, here's, so here's the bathroom. It's really, like, it's really white compared to the rest of the build, which is really, you know, wooden and brown. But it's, you know, supposed to be modern and not, you know, hazardous to your health. So I put this, like, I put these signs that are from Get Together all around the, as, like, plaques, because I thought that was cool. Tells you about, like, the, you know, area and what, like, you know, what you're looking at makes sense. And I put, like, like, these, like, shipwreck items. I don't, they're from Sulani, but I don't think I've ever seen them before. Like, I don't ever use those things, and I don't know what they're for, really. So I just put those out there. I thought it looked cool. And then I spent, like, a lot of time landscaping, but I like landscaping in, like, this sort of style. So I spent a lot of time doing that and put, like, a lot of plants. Because, like, you're going to want it to look cute for the tourists. <laughs> so I put these, like, plants, and it's really, like, you know, green and orange. So it fits with the surrounding area. And then some rocks. So that's about the end of our pirate ship video so I just put some rocks around so I post four videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday so you can watch another video on Friday bye